This is the Grade 12 Information Technology Prac Exam, Paper 1, from the Exemplar for 2018. And we're doing the final section um, of the paper question number 4, the first part of it. Now, for question 4, it's normally the final question of your exam paper, and that's going to be the more complicated, the more complex uh, question that's going to be requiring not something to do normally with arrays. Sometimes it could be 2D arrays or just advanced array handling. So let's have a look at the scenario. We're dealing with uh, learning and we've got some sort of remove duplicates question that we're going to come up with. So let's have a look. So there is a text file and I think the text file has already been loaded or the, the information from the text file has already been loaded into two parallel arrays. A parallel array means that whatever the value is in position 1 of this array corresponds to the position 1 in that array. For example, the person whose name is at position 5 in the array names got a score of whatever the score is at position 5 in the array score. So they, they, there's no actual parallel arrays you see in Delphi that they've used. They've just, they've just programmed it in such a way that it corresponds with each other. So they have already put the scores into the array names or the, the scores sorry the array scores and the names of the players into array names they've already done that what they're asking for on question 4.1 is a remove duplicates so there you can see the, they've got a display more than one game was captured for some of the players in the file write code to ensure that only the highest scores of the corresponding names remain in the provided arrays and this is an example of output. So let's get a, a feel. Let's go look at the text file and see what um, the data is inside the array. So here we've got um, the text file. So obviously it's going to take that name and put it into array names at position 1. And then take that score and put it into position 1 of the array scores. As you can see, there are names that are duplicated. But the scores, however, are not duplicated. Okay, so we want to do a remove duplicates. Okay, so that's quite interesting what they want to do. So remove duplicates is a recipe. There are certain algorithms, there are certain recipes, what I like to call them, that you need to know in an exam. You need to know how to sort an array. You need to know how to remove duplicates. That's one of the, the recipes, the algorithms. I have a video that explains how that recipe works, that algorithm, and I'll put a link to that in the video below. Um, but Go watch that if you're not too sure. But we, we, you, we need to assume that you know that algorithm in an exam. When you get to the last question like this, you don't have time to try to figure out how this recipe works. It's been done for you. Someone worked out a recipe on how to remove duplicates. They worked out an algorithm to do it. You need to know it so that you can just write it down. So I have a example of that recipe over here. This is the remove duplicates recipe. I'm going to put this code like it is, obviously adapting it to our scenario into this question, and then we're going to adapt it to our scenario. Again, if you don't understand how this al the recipe works, or this algorithm works, go check out the Remove Duplicates Array video to explain that particular concept. Now, I've done a bit of the code already, so just to get you up to speed with what I've done. We were given the program. We were given these over here. I think this is going to be for the next question. But we were given an array names, which can take up to 50 strings. And we were given array scores, which can take up to 50 scores of type integer. And this R count. And this R count represents how many elements are in the array names and array scores. Remember, they are parallel arrays. So if there are 10 elements in array names, there will only be 10 elements in array scores, because they correspond with each other's values. That's been done for you. That will have values in it. That's getting that from the text file. Now, when you're dealing with removing duplicates, you tend to want to put those duplicates or the ones, or the, the values that are the non-duplicates in a completely new array. So what I've done is I've created another array called array names, and that's WND. We can put that for WND with no duplicates. That's what the WND means, or not what, what. Okay, so that's what the WND means. And then I've got a variable called without duplicate size. That will tell me how many elements are in the no duplicate size, which we will also set to zero because we don't we haven't got anything in it yet. 
I've made it the exact same size as array names because in the event that array names contains no duplicates we are probably going to put every single element from array names in there so it needs to be able to fit to at least that value okay so that's all I've done I haven't read the question properly yet I just know to remove duplicates I've created my remove duplicates array which I've made global in case we need to use it in other buttons and I'm going to show you the code that I've pasted so I literally just pasted this algorithm now in an exam you would need to learn it the best way to do it if you understand it it's a lot easier to learn but I just pasted it in so we can see I'm going to modify it to meet our criteria first of all we need some sort of looping variables I've got a k for the for loop and a, an r loop which we do manually and we need some sort of boolean that we use to check if we found a duplicate or not so I'm going to just declare them so that we can use them okay so without a dupe size is how many elements are in my array it starts off being a zero we actually set it to zero there so we actually don't even need to do that there but we leave it there so when they say k our first loop is going to go from one till the array size we are going through the names array and we know that there are our count values so in this case our array size wherever we see the word array size will be our count how many elements are in array names and our loop variable will start from one after you can read the comments um, and go or go watch the video about how to remove duplicates set b dupe to false where our looping variable is less than the array size that's the r count variable so we can change that to r count and where b dupe is false and this is the array that we're looking at we're looking for duplicates in the names array so array names and array names I think it's names not name I'm sure it's names so those are the yeah, array names so those, that's when we see the word array that's the array we are referring to to remove the duplicates if we find that there is no duplicate then we increase without duplicate size because this is when we want to put the element into the without duplicate array and our array that contains no duplicates we've said that's what it's called array names with no duplicates so that's the name of the array that we are going to use so we increase with our dupe size it becomes a one and we put the value from array names into our array names without with no with no duplicates and then the very last value gets put in automatically so we will put array names with no duplicates and the array that it's getting it from is array names and the array size for that is our count that's just when we put the very final value in because that always gets put in again watch the video it explains it in full detail so all i've done is i've just pasted i saw the word remove duplicates and i put it in and i'm hoping for the best now let's just double check what the question is actually asking so they want us to remove duplicates but we also need to ensure that the highest score is being provided so there's two parts of this we're removing duplicates but we also want to keep track of the scores so although we're not looking at the duplicates in the score array what we need to be doing is whenever we add a, a name to the array names with no duplicates we need some sort of parallel array for the scores that has no duplicates so that we can keep track of the scores now they're talking about the higher score we'll deal with that later but let's go back to our code we actually just like we've got there we actually need another array which is the scores with no duplicates and this has nothing to do with the actual scores value it just means if we put a name into here we want to put the corresponding score into this so that it remains some sort of parallel array again uh, ooh, what's happening there some sort of random things happening here so let's go back so we're going to say array one dot dot five of integer we're going to make it exactly the same as that we don't need to have a size rate because it's going to have the exact same size as this and when we go to our code we still are always looking at array names the only time we ever look at array scores is when we put the when we do this when we put a value into array names we must also do the exact same thing for array scores 
with no duplicates. And it's almost the exact line there. So it's without dupe size. And that's going to equal whatever the array scores variable array is at position K. So it's exactly the same. And the same for the last element. We're going to do the exact same thing. And we're going to put it over there. And we're going to do for array scores no duplicate. And we're going to get from array scores. So there we go. So now we have a situation where whenever we put the array names in, we also put the scores. Now the tricky part is finding the highest score. Now if I go look at, not at the scores, if I go look at the scores, what I want to do, if we just pretend that these are two different arrays, so there's that value, the name is in, a, in, a, in the array names and the score is there. The way the array or remove duplicates is works, it only puts in the last or last value for an occurrence. So if it finds like Sunel there, I think that's how you pronounce it. If it finds Sunel somewhere else in the, the array, it won't do anything to it. When it finds the last occurrence of it, so if we look at that, that will be the final occurrence of the name Sunel. So what we want to do, whenever we find a match, if ever we find like Sunel is equal to Sunel, then we want to make sure that the, that the highest score is always in the last place. So let me repeat that. When we look for Sunel, we don't do anything to it when it comes to removing duplicates. We only work with the last value. In this case, the last value of Sunel is the highest score, so that works out fine. But if I look at Ulrich over here, when it gets to the first occurrence of Ulrich, it'll skip it. Then it'll move to the second uh, case of Ulrich, and it'll skip it, and it'll move to the third, and then it'll go down to here yeah, to the fourth occurrence, and it will put that score in, which actually is the exact same score as that. But let's pretend it wasn't. Let's make it a five. If it wasn't, what I actually want to do, whenever I go, if I compare these two, I actually want to make sure that the last occurrence that value is actually 3965 and when I compare it with this one I'm going to change that to 3965 and when I compare it to that I want it to be 3965 to make sure that the last occurrence will always have the biggest value okay and that only happens when we find a duplicate when we find when we find a duplicate we want to swap the two scores so that the final score the, the biggest score is at the last record so if we go to this code this is when we find if we find a duplicate we want to do the following we not only want to say hey b dupe equals true because we found one i want to compare the scores i want to say okay well let's say now in this case array or the cave um, value is the first value the loop would be the secondary value so in there, yeah, if we were comparing that one with that one, that would be array K and that would be array R loop. You can see that those scores are not in the right order. I want the bigger score to be at the last element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if array scores K, which is the first one, if that one is bigger than array scores r loop, that means that there I, I don't want them to be in that order. I want the bigger one to be at the end. Then all I'm going to do is say, okay, if that does happen, then make array scores r loop equal to array scores k. So when we find a duplicate, so when we say, hey, that's equal to that, it's a duplicate. Before we move on, I'm just going to go, you know what, make this into 3, 9, 6, 5. And then it's going to come here, like, oh, that one's bigger in the first place. So we want to make 3, 6, or 3, 9, 6, 5. And then it's going to come here, that's also 3, 9, 6, 5. It'll make sure, so when we 
actually put the last value into the remove duplicates, we will always make sure that that will be the highest score. Okay, it seems quite complicated, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to do that without saving. I don't want to save that to the text file. So let's run it. There's a display that's going to display um, our results. So let's hope it works. I don't know what the display is going to be doing. Where is this display? This display is going to display an array names and array R scores. So I would assume that we also want, we don't want to just display, we want to display array names with no duplicates. And we want to display array scores with no duplicates to see if we get the same results. So let's have a look. Let's look at the exam paper there. We can see there's no problem. So let's have a look and see if it works. We first load the scores, I'm just displaying random things, and then remove duplicates. And there we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we are going to go and look at the results and see if we get the same results. And those scores look pretty much the same, right? There we go. They look pretty much on par. The reason why there's so many dots at the old noughts at the end is just a little correction here to the display. The display is going to our count. Remember, we've got a no dupes variable. So with our dupes, I think, is our the number of elements. I'm not sure if they want us to actually change display. Maybe they want to eventually to put the values here from array names with our duplicates back into the original. I'm not too sure, but we just want to make sure that we get the same results. You could do that if you wanted to. So we load, supply, nothing there, new duplicates. There we go. So there's it. It's very complicated. Again, if you need to understand how to remove duplicates, go watch the video on that explains specifically how to remove duplicates. Again, just a reminder that remove duplicates or from arrays is in a video in the playlist for advanced arrays in our YouTube channel playlists. Go follow us on Facebook, go follow us on Twitter, and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.